How do men get to Jesus' promised land and the spiritual kingdom of Jesus? This journey requires that men be equipped with a spiritual entity they receive upon spiritual rebirth. In the Bible, this is explained as infilling of the Holy Spirit evidenced by speaking in tongues. This is a journey men born of women have never taken and is an insurmountable challenge to the world. It is, in fact, an insurmountable feat without the power of God. How exactly do men travel to the spiritual place Jesus told his disciples to follow him to? This is a matter over and beyond physics. How can a man travel to a place inside of himself? How can a man enter the spiritual kingdom of Christ? Flesh cannot make this journey. The place in question is a spiritual dimension. Jesus said he would return for his disciples. His return would be manifested in the spirit. Jesus would return on the inside of his disciples. This is evidence when men receive infilling of the Holy Spirit. Men cannot travel into this spiritual dimension with their fleshly body. It is impossible for the flesh and blood of men to travel into the spirit world. However, it is possible for spiritual entities to travel into a carnal world. Men cannot go inside of themselves to find the Father and his Christ, but the Father and his Christ can come to men. The Father and his Christ comes to reside on the inside of men. Men born in the flesh and blood are limited in the places they can travel. Men are subject to time and space. The physics that limit men have no effect upon the Father and his Christ. Life in the spirit is a more perfect state of being and existence. The ability of the Holy Spirit to reside inside of men and manifest its power upon the flesh of men is evidence that the promise of eternal spiritual life in the kingdom of heaven is the perfect state of existence for the children of God. This mysterious spiritual journey to the place where Jesus now resides was a serious challenge for a man who came to Jesus named Nicodemus. Like most men, Nicodemus' understanding was limited to the things in this world. His understanding was restricted to fleshly matters and carnal things. When Jesus told Nicodemus a man must be born again to see the kingdom of God, Nicodemus replied by asking Jesus, can a man be born again a second time from his mother's womb? However, the birth Jesus was referring to was not the imperfect fleshly existence of men, but the more perfect existence of men who have received eternal life through receipt of the Holy Spirit. The way to the kingdom of God does not come by the imperfect birth of flesh through an imperfect body. The journey to the kingdom of God does not begin with the birth of flesh from the womb of a woman, but by infilling of the Holy Spirit and spiritual rebirth, evidenced by speaking in tongues.
When men receive infilling of the Holy Spirit, they began their journey to the kingdom of God. How do men start this journey towards receiving the infilling of the Holy Spirit? Must men go and confess to the Pope, pay a prosperity preacher, or join a local church? No, that would be a step backwards. Remember, physics, the religious traditions of men, politics, and the carnal things of this world are not on the road to the kingdom of God. According to the testimony of Jesus, the first step men must take to get to the kingdom of God is love him and keep his commandments. This appears to be the first, last, and only step men must take to complete their journey. Upon compliance, Jesus will return for you as he promised. This is stated in John chapter 14, verses 15 through 16, where Jesus tells his disciples, if they keep his commandments, he will pray to the Father to send them the Comforter. This is the way, regardless of what Oprah says, this is the way. This is the way to the Father, his Christ, and the kingdom of heaven. It's not as complicated as you expected. Satan who was cast out of heaven and soon to be judged deceived the whole world with a variety of false gods and religions. The earth is plagued with dozens of pagan Christian denominations. All of these Christian denominations share a legacy of wickedness and are governed by murderers, thieves, and robbers. The way to the kingdom of heaven is not far and it is simple to get to. Just obey the commandments of the biblical Jesus Christ, not the Roman Jesus depicted as Caesar Borgia. In John 14, 22, Judas, not Judas Iscariot, asked Jesus, was there more to it? Jesus gave the same answer over and over again. In John chapter 14, verses 15 through 16, Jesus said, let's read that. John chapter 14 verses 15 through 16 keep my commandments and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever end quote in John chapter 14 verse 21 through 23 Jesus said let's read that John chapter 14 verses 21 through 23 quote he that hath my commandments and keep them he is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Judah said unto him, Not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. How will you know you have arrived at your final destination? How will you know you have found the way? How will, don't go ask Oprah. How will you know you have received the comforter or infilling of the Holy Spirit? Your spiritual rebirth will be evidenced when the Spirit gives utterance by speaking in an unknown language. They call it speaking in tongues. The God of Abraham is not a dead God, nor is his Christ or Holy Spirit a dead spirit without power and the ability to speak. The Holy Spirit is able to speak in all languages. When the disciples in the upper room were filled with the Holy Spirit, they all spoke in an unknown tongue as the Spirit gave utterance. In John chapter 14, verse 26, Jesus tells his disciples that the Comforter will be an instructor to them all. This is shown in John 14, verse 26. Let's read that. John 14, verse 26 says, quote, But the Comforter which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. End quote. And when he arrives, he will testify of Christ. This is shown 
in John chapter 15, verses 26, where it says, let's look at John 15, verse 26, quote, But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. The Holy Spirit can hear, speak, and will show you things to come. This is shown in John chapter 16, verse 13. Let's read that. Quote, John chapter 16, verse 13. Quote, Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. End quote. When the Spirit of Christ comes to men, they will know they have found the way. When you meet the Holy Spirit of Christ, you will know that you have taken the correct way. When you receive the infilling of the Holy Spirit evidence by speaking in tongues, you possess your key and entry ticket to the kingdom of heaven and eternal life. Upon death of the flesh, you shall live as Jesus lived following his resurrection. Equipped with the Holy Spirit, men can follow Jesus back to his spiritual kingdom in heaven. This resurrected life will be eternal in the kingdom of heaven. The Holy Spirit comes and resides within men after they obey Christ. Men cannot go to the Holy Spirit, nor can they do anything to possess the Holy Spirit other than obey the commandments of Christ. This is the way, according to Jesus. When Oprah said there is more than one way to the Father, she immediately fell off the road that leads to the kingdom of God and into the ditch of Satan. The metaphysical road Oprah and other antichrists are now traveling on is a byway paved by Satan. This alternative route leads straight to hell. Money cannot save you. Christians must understand when you do not obey Christ's commandments, you are actually disobeying God. As stated earlier, the commandments of Jesus are the commandments of God. So when people like Oprah rebel against the commandments of Jesus, she is rebelling against the God of Abraham. When Antichrist say there is more than one way to God, they are calling God a liar. Mm -hmm.